So next up, I want to take a look at some of this spacing. If you go, if we go, have a look at our Illustrator mock-up we'll see that there's a bit of spacing right here at the top quite a lot more spacing up here at the top, Not necessarily, we don't necessarily need that much but if we go and inspect that element there, now we'll see that we're on row A there you go, so we can see that we've got the row A CSS where we can just start adding a bit of CSS directly in there, and that looks just about right. So we're just going to grab that, go and dump that on line 106. There's uh, quite a lot of blank CSS ready to be pasted in, so you can use this technique straight off the bat with a blank Joomla template. So you don't have to go and create the styles, they're already there, sat in the template waiting for you. So next up, we're going to have a look at the spacing between the logo and the nav see that we've got a we've got a margin on the bottom of that now this is actually driven from the template parameters so we're going to have to override this using the same css row within the template we're going to change that margin bottom to zero um, but we're going to have to put an important tag on the end of this bit of css because it needs to override the stuff that's being driven from the uh, index file of the template so that's the uh, rare occasion when you're allowed to use the important tag for CSS I think maybe yeah just a touch more on that height cool let's paste that into our row, uh, line 106 give that a save and a refresh and of course we know by now that's taken the CSS directly and it's live on our site now okay so let's have a look at this article oh no that's the menu item so if we go find our articles now what we need to do here is place that image in our home page article and if you recall we've got this image goes here tag because we've got this basic div created within the article now I'm going to create a couple of CSS styles here for page left page right and I'm just pasting those straight into the bottom of my CSS file I'm going to float page left to the left give it a width of say 45 percent and we're going to just nab that and use it for our page right and just change the float to the right save that up let's go back to our home page give it a refresh, now we haven't actually touched that, oh I think I may have made a little mistake there, let's go have a quick look at that CSS yeah there you go, I missed the T off the left so let's save that up now we haven't touched anything in the article here, we've only made a little bit of CSS that helps those divs do their work. Now that we've got the page left and right, what we're going to do now is go and check out our home page because I don't think we've actually got the right article on there. Because uh, remember that style is across all the articles, we've got those divs left and right in all our articles, we use the copy function the Joomla article create so we'll go back to our home article now and we've got to look at getting this image in and you see down the bottom there we've still got this uh, image goes here 
Now we're going to use that as the placeholder to go grab our image from our mock just like this. Select a nice tight crop for this home page image. Pull that in nice and tight. There we go. Okay. So that's looking pretty cool. Can we get a little tighter on that right hand side? Okay, let's save that up for web and devices. And we'll keep that very high as well. And we'll put that in our nails folder and call it FB image. Great. So now if we go back to the article, we can highlight that placeholder text. Go grab our image, upload, select it and insert and you will see with a quick save and close. Back to our home page, quick refresh and we've got ourselves an article. And so let's take a look at some of this spacing. If we go and have a look at our mock, um, I think we may have to give a bit more width to the left-hand side than the right-hand side because that's about probably about 60-40 by the looks of it. So um, let's go and inspect that uh, left-hand side. And if you look at the div, we can see there's our style that we just added, 45% width. Um, and we'll expect the right-hand side, and it's of course got the same, so we're just going to reduce that to 35, it doesn't make it pop over there, so I think you might do it a little less, and um, let's get back over to, we can scroll up the HTML and look, click on the div for the page left, get that up, and uh, let's just increase that a bit, Ooh, that's a little too much, Okay, that looks not too bad. We'll drop that just a little bit. Uh, okay, that looks about right. And if we go back to our right div, we're going to float that left instead, just so we can give that a little bit more space on the right hand side. So you can see how we are using Firebug here to actually design our CSS for us without having to do loads of coding, saving and refreshing, we can actually get it almost perfect. Just a little bit of padding on the top for there. We can almost get it perfect without hardly any hassle. Just get that up in, up in line with the welcome line there, so that looks good to me. We're going to paste that into our page right and we're going to paste a new page left into our page left and we've got ourselves a revised web page. Quick refresh and we see that the CSS has taken perfectly. Okay, so now well, we've got our page. We still need to do a little bit on the styling. We see that we've got a 60px h1 tag, and on ours we've only got uh, 48 there, so we'll just bump that up to 60. Quite like the letter spacing, so I think we'll keep that the same for the moment. We'll just try it one less. Yeah, I think I think I think two is, minus two is good. We'll just change the height of that because of course we've changed the font size, so we'll just give that the appropriate line height. Uh, and of course it's a different colour, so we'll go and grab that colour. And 
and take that back over to our firebug CSS paste it in and grab the whole block go and find our h1 CSS within our little typography section there and paste him in good stuff quick save and a refresh and all is well our web page really starting starting to take shape now <laughs>